what's up guys in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to use the pixel app grid tool so the tool is right here first we're going to look at how the button works the tool works and then we'll try to use it on a project so let's get it all right so to activate it you click here and you have three horizontal and three vertical grid guides or lines on your design workspace your background okay so to edit these lines you click on this button below now you see each line will now be having two holding spots where you can click and hold and move the line to you know along their axis their respective axis so the horizontal along the horizontal axis and the vertical along the vertical axis all right so now i want us to look at these buttons below now at this point when you're currently editing the lines you cannot touch any design element you can only work on the lines okay so when you're done editing the lines you click here you can go back to touching your design elements you'll be able to highlight your elements now, right now i cannot highlight this text until i click here all right so let's look at these buttons below so the first button is to add extra vertical lines okay so when i click on it i'll be adding more lines vertical lines closer to the one that is highlighted right so the next button is to have to add uh, a horizontal so you can highlight any to highlight just touch any of these holding spots or yeah and then you can add all right so the next button here is to delete the line be it vertical or horizontal so if you want to delete a vertical line touch any vertical line and delete you go to the next highlighted vertical lines and you just keep deleting and then this button here is going to determine the position of each line it helps you to position your lines so if you don't want to use your finger you can use this but i always prefer using my finger because this one right here is telling you that this line that is highlighted it's a vertical line it's currently at 82 percent to the right to the right side of your design workspace okay so you can choose to reduce it or click and you drag so for example let's put it at 50 percent so i'm going to hold it to like 50 when you're doing this the line is not going to move until you click on ok and when you do that you have it in the middle you can do the same for a horizontal line okay you click on the same button you can have this one is currently at 75 percent and then you can decide where you want it to be right now the next button is going to just be able to make you decide how many grid guides you want it to be on your workspace or your background so you can start working on it so now we currently now the default when you open the button or the tool is always three 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 vertical three horizontal so you can now say i want two vertical two horizontal you click on ok and that is it so that's all about the grid buttons in the tool so let's try to use this on a project so i'm just going to open my project i will not even close the tool to close it just click here let me close it all right so i'll take this project for example now activate the grid tool let me show you how i achieve some of the alignment now it's on so to edit the lines to move the lines i click here and you see here this is how i achieved one i achieved this alignment right here using this grid tool it's very important for alignment and if i move this remember i'm clicking here or here i can shift it to show you this alignment that i achieved between this letter from this letter m and the the last social media icon below okay and then these ones the horizontal ones are not necessary so what i'll do is i'll highlight one of it and then i delete it so i can use this too if i'm working on this project and now position it right if I want to go back to working on my project, if I'm done setting my grid lines or my grid guides, I click here. Now I can start highlighting any of my design materials. 
and go back to editing and working okay that's how it works because when you're currently here open when you've opened this you can't highlight any material until you're done setting your grid lines then you click here and you'll be able to go back to your material and when you're done designing if you save it it will not the lines will not appear there okay so when you're done you want to close it you just click here and you close it all right guys so that's all for the grid tool so thanks for watching